season over a thousand yards in fact closing in on 1200 yards on the season he's got 66 catches. start things off on the ground and it's the running back Franklin in motion two straight running plays to start off the game and coaches wanted to be creative we saw two straight running plays he gets hit as he delivered and back to punt for the Aggies is Cale Chapman Brown from Sydney, Australia. His ribs, and like you said, knowing that they're already going to a bowl game, they decided to keep him out as Williams gets the... And this is false left. Play action. Quick pass to the outside, and that might have been a bit of a... Get the confidence high. Third and seven. Now he's got to look downfield a bit. Should have the first down. Or the first down. They're into Aggie territory. Lark with plenty of time and deliberately play. Four for four of the start for Lark. Dangerous pass. Five for five for Lark on this drive. Now they're inside. Lark again with Tom to the outside, still perfect. You know, this is this is not your, your ordinary backup, James Lark. Battery field goal. Kick is up. And it is no good. Three and out on their first possession of the game. They keep it on the ground and again. Manley with time to his big tight end. Much this afternoon. Low snap. He's got time. That's huge defense. First first down for the Aggies. One yards per game on the ground. Second and six. To the air. To Franklin. Cougars. They bring some pressure. He gets the pass off. What a Cougars came with some pressure. Punt barely gets off. And it's going to roll into the end zone. Which, so the maturity level that so many of Bronco Mendenhall's players have certainly plays a part. Now four rushes, 12 yards. Second and eight, ball on the ground, and Lark picks it. Nobody open, but Riley Stevenson, the excellent BYU punter, second best in the nation. In mission. Right now he's got 38 players currently on a mission to 17 different countries. So they come back, yeah, they go as a boy, they come back as a man. Yeah, afternoon. Go, go, go. Looking left the whole way. Pressure from Van Noy. He gets the pass off. 241 left first quarter. Morrison finds a hole this time. Gets his name called again off of the right side. Manley again with a couple of the tight ends. Manley's going to run with it as the pocket. They fake the reverse. Start of the second quarter, and it is Aggie Ball trying to... First and ten. They keep it on the ground, stay conservative, and why not? Morrison has responded. The profession, second and one. Franklin in motion, inside the ten. They give it to us defensively. Second and goal. Play action. Manley lobs it. He's got a receiver open, and he bobbles it. Take the lead. How about that? Extra point here into your your breastplate. 15th touchdown pass thrown for Manley on the season. 10 for the Cougar offense. Lark, who has been perfect on the afternoon, continues so. He's much longer. You kind of wonder, will we see him? Williams. Not the men up front. Lark to pass. Another pass right on target for the big he 10. Balance and breaking a tackle, picking up a couple extra yards. Only the seventh catch of the season for Mahe. Harris Scoggins that have the Aggies up, 7-0. BYU ball, pass is to... 
Williams with the carry. Trying to find the outside. Williams, he's barely averaging two yards of carry. Lark with time, has a receiver. Over. With time. And this time he has free on the tip. Williams with room. Inside the five yards gained by a freshman. To give it to him again. Good pursuit. Lark to false level. He's not going to get in. Lark into the end zone. Happy with the fact that they're having to kick this extra point to tie the game. And they miss it. The uprights. For Hoffman, he's now caught a, a ball in 31 straight games. We already mentioned that, but that is tied for. Manley hit as he throws it and nearly picked off. Their tendencies and understands what they want to do offensively. Second and ten. Third and two. Handoff, and this is going nowhere. Fifteen and a half tackles for a loss. Aggies to punt again. And Falslev catches it at the 20. He's got some space, makes a nice move. He's got to beat about one or two men, and he gets taken down. Lights this Cougar offense. They need something. It's been uh, not anemic, but as Lark's going to take a shot into the end zone, it's a miscommunication. Second and 10. Lark over the middle. Pass complete. On the ground to Willis is a big play. Williams takes the snap. He's got the first down and more. Inside. Just. Lark has. Lark with time. And goes to four left here in the first half. And this one. Straight through. They've only beaten two teams with a winning record. Utah State and Georgia Tech. So the teams that they've beaten. Or a combined 21 and 44. 38 to go in the first half. And it is Morrison who keeps the ball on the ground. A run and pass. Morrison 11 carries for 56 yards. Pass is complete. Well, the sophomore from Texas. But that may have been a ploy just to kind of uh, even on the season. Third and four. Pressure on Manley. He escapes it. And now... And this is perhaps a dangerous moment for the Aggies. As there's plenty of time left for the Cougars to get another score. False love going in the wrong direction. Points on the board. Lark, all kinds of time. Now he gets pressured. And fine. Lark again to False Love. Who has spent a lot of time this last week. Because here in this two-minute drill, Lark looks really comfortable. Except three wide receivers to his right. He looks left, though. And he is going to get some nice first half. Second and two. Lark into the end zone. Almost picked off. Lark to Hoffman. Three wide receivers to Lark's left. He's got no timeouts left, so he's got to be smart with the clock. And he should throw the season long. Second and goal. Low snap. Pressure again, passes down, passes. And that last drive took just over a minute, so it's 20. And now they uh, they give up 20 straight. But there is still plenty for the Aggies, John. has done a good job in the turnover category. The Cougars, even the first for the Cougars after the Aggies got the surprise lead. And we are underway as the shadows creep onto the field here. Received at the five, out past the 10. And the Cougars will start. And he goes right to him. And over. Second and 10. Aggies bring the pressure. And Hoffman first down. Williams with his first carry of the second. So he's similar. He's mature. He's an older guy. He's having a great season. Lark to throw. Lark with time. Has a receiver, it's false seven. He has the first down. Single back is Williams, and he takes the handoff. He's got three wide receivers to his right. Instead, they give it to Williams. So nifty little move as the freshman on the 30, the 29. Play action. 
Lark rolls to his left and seven four. Cougars mounting a nice, long, sustained clock chewing drop. Lark looking to hop. Plenty of time. Passes tipped at the line. Have pause. That's a little unfair, don't you think? Third and ten. And another two yard field goal attempt for Sorensen. Good snap. And he gets a seven. BYU now has scored 23 straight, and the Aggies will get it back. That last Cougar drive, 13 plays, took almost four minutes. Franklin, Manley 7 of 12 in the first half. They start things off in the third quarter. Look, Scoggins in motion. They keep it on the ground. Franklin and Bateman so far only combined three catches. They go to Bateman, and the pass is complete outside the 30. That'll be just inside the 40. They fake the reverse. Manley with time. Here comes Ziggy. And the pass is way long. And it is caught by Bateman. Four plays, 85 yards. That last scoring drive. 67 yards. The Sun loses his balance. Bateman does not. False lead receives the kickoff. And he's got a nice return. It's come up big again. Only down two scores. He wiped out the ball on the 20. Play action. Lark has a man. Another pass complete. This is to false lev. The pitch to Williams. Snuffed out nicely by the Aggie defense. John, let's go back to that. Lark takes his time and only seven upon. Aggies let this bounce, and it takes a Cougar roll. Well, this will bring up. And that stat, John, also includes Notre Dame. I'm Flags always, down. Yeah, and I'm always curious about this. You got, oh, and it looked to me like you could have put that on the D. I can go from here, Peter. I think they got him this time. You gotta That's love. You have a Valerian Umezioke in the center, <laughs> just pointing at him. Franklin in motion. Somebody in the back, and they're gonna run instead. Ronson Kafusi, the stop for the Cougars, and so Kale Chapman Brown for the Aggies punts it just inside the. Shadows continue to lengthen. Kind of a hybrid of a no huddle offense. Giving the Aggies a bit of a different look. And Foot drops the pass position. But they're going to have to pick up seven to keep this drive alive. He can't do any more than that. Yeah. Yeah, as you only. Little screen. Here comes the pressure. He's got time. Nice looking pass to Hoffman. And he vaults over the defender into the. Behind after what should have been a pick set. And Andrew Manley's having a nice afternoon as well. He's thrown two touchdown passes, no picks. So the Aggies, Goggins again in motion. And he looks that way, goes over the middle to his big tight end. Tan still on the 25. Manley, pressure, flushed out, and Van Noy. Van Noy leads the Cougars in sacks. He's now got nine and a half on the season. And again, the Cougars are gonna have great field position. Fielded about the 38. This is false left. Gets a nice block up the sideline. Great job, James Lark, of course, getting the ball to him. And now he's delivering it long down the field. More physical Cougars. You kind of get the feeling they're just starting to wear down the Aggies. Well, they've got it. Aggies defense looks a little bit out of sorts on third and three. And that should be enough. Here and there. But they need to be better than solid. They need to do something dramatic. Offense inside the red zone. Second and two. And whistles before. Next year. It, maybe that becomes the independent league like it was so many years ago where it just needs a quarter. And it's Cougar ball trying to get another first down. It's third. They hand it off. Straight up the gut. Play action. 
Plenty of time into the end zone. No. Lark with 32 completions on the afternoon. A huge day. For and I don't know who that one was to. Rusting the passer. Who's that on again? Number 95. Inuka Rahid. Lark is going to keep it. And he gets run out of bounds for about eight. Let's see if they can do it again. Williams with the carry. Nice cutback. Two wide receivers to the right. Lark a little pump fake into the end zone. 40 yards. And 218 taken off the clock. And was that another miss? Well, this is about where we expected things to be, John, in the fourth quarter. But boy, in that first quarter, it was manly to throw. So they will be an in, in, independent team next year, along with BYU, Notre Dame. Three right now for the Aggies. You know, there's a chance they might go back to the Sun Belt where they came from before they got into the New Mexico State, just in case some of these former teams did have second thoughts. And then Army at two and nine. You take a look at that list, John, and you just kind of get the feeling. And by the wayside, third and 26 for Manley. And he's not even going to get a chance to throw. I expect at some point they were going to bring the heat on the Aggies and. They really exhibited it right there. Chapman Brown with a punt. Ball says. First and ten for Lark and the Cougar offense. Does a nice job of stepping up in the pocket. If someone's wide open and how do you let him? Cody Hoffman walk into the end zone. We need another long sustained drive by the Aggies to be able to get to that highlight reel. The extra point is good. 43 yes, Boise State through three picks. Taysom Hill, the freshman, came in in that game and brought them back. They almost came up with the win. A lot of the throws today might be a function of you never know how well a rib is fully he continues to run. Now the Aggies are going to pass. And that one is picked off. No, in and out of there. It's 14 for the Aggies. Third and seven. That pass. <laughs> I didn't mean to shortchange you one there. No, I mean. I'm, just, I'm just teasing. But you can watch him on the field, and he's doing a lot better with his he was, he was kind of knocking guys in the in the lane right next to him. So he said, you've got to go meet the football coaches. When you're watching football on a daily basis, and you start to just get the smell of where things are going and how plays. Runs has checked in at quarterback, the junior from Kennewick, Washington, number 11. And so Lark is done for the day. Stay in Washington, though, I think. Isn't that where Jake Locker comes from? First and ten for the Cougars as the second and third string was getting plenty of action and foot putting on a clinic. You're out of your mind. Here he goes and on the right side. He smelled it. And the handoff. And is this a and yeah, it was zero to zero at the end of the first, and then the Aggies got on the board. With the first score of the game, it was seven nothing. He's had a busy afternoon, but came into today having made 70 of 70 extra points, and of course he missed two on the afternoon. What a bizarre day it's been for him, as Franklin in Boise it was a seven to six ball game. Taysom Hill came in, rallied their offense, got the score, and then Bronco Mendenhall decided to go for two. first and 20 for the Aggie offense. Manley still in the game. Passes complete. Uh, New Mexico State will be dialing in on the running game because they didn't have much luck with it. It is what it is. I like the way they play. They're tenacious. They have solid coverage. You know, some teams that have really struggled this year. Well, and again, none of that ever gets sorted out until you have an 8 or 10 or 12 team playoff. Because you always have different conferences. There's no, there should be a much broader playoff. They can do it in the end from the beginning to the end. Is there, their discipline? And <laughs>